The heart muscle itself requires a lot of energy, it requires a lot of oxygen, and therefore it requires a very good blood supply. It is not like this that the heart is supplied by the blood which fills the heart chambers directly. That would not be enough. But what we need is, is we need um, a system of blood vessels, and you can see them over here on the right side, which actually goes into the heart muscle and supplies the heart muscle itself with blood. Because um, the heart muscle is relatively thick, it's got to be pretty powerful, and therefore we also need blood vessels which kind of go deep into the heart so that the heart receives enough um, oxygen, is able to uh, remove a waste like carbon dioxide and so on. And uh, these arteries over here, um, which supply the heart muscle itself, uh, with blood are referred to as the so-called coronary arteries. You can see it also over here in the drawing. Okay, so these uh, blood vessels over here, um, you can see they branch off from the aorta. So that's the aorta. And from the aorta, there is a little bit hidden behind here. Um, the, the, the coronary arteries branch off and go back to the heart, uh, but into the, into the muscle itself. Um, and uh, now if uh, there is for whatever reason a blood clot over here, let's draw it over here, um, or uh, some deposit, whatever, then it is not possible for the blood to supply a certain region of the heart, like, let's say like, like this part over here, because this blood vessel supplies branches off finer and finer and finer, okay? So if uh, there is a blood clot over here, um, then this part of the heart over here it's going to have a real problem, it's not, it's not going to receive enough um, oxygen um, and it's going to die off. And this is what you call a heart attack. And as you can uh, probably imagine, the further up the blood clot occurs, the larger the region of the heart uh, which is affected. So if uh, a blood clot occurs um, only here at the very end, then I can imagine that maybe only a small region of the heart over here is uh, affected and, and will possibly die off. Uh, but if it occurs up here, then we have a real problem because a large region is affected. Okay, so that's uh, basically, these are the coronary arteries um, and uh, they are really important uh, for um, f actually making sure that the heart continues to pump. You can see them also over here, but you can see it looks kind of spongy over here. Now you can, these are uh, blood capillaries and so on, so you can see that it really branches up very finely into very small blood vessels. Um, yeah, so that is, uh, um, I, I would say, a, a nicely prepared uh, uh, heart over here. So now these blood clots are um, uh, blocks in 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 the arm in, in the coronary arteries uh, can be now caused either by high blood cholesterol, um, or it can be caused by smoking. Hypertension is high blood pressure can also cause this um, a, a coronary um, artery disease. Um, also, high blood sugar level, um, as the case with diabetes. Um, also can uh, contribute uh, to coronary artery disease. And of course, show me a disease which is not somehow influenced or linked to genetic factors. Also family history um, can play a role here. So, um, but as you can see, um, coronary arteries, um, the, the coronary artery disease is also uh, to a certain extent lifestyle, lifestyle dependent because high blood cholesterol um, can be... Uh, uh, controlled by di di um, also by a proper diet, smoking is definitely also a lifestyle issue, and so on. Um, so that is basically it. Um, just a short overview. Remember that the coronary arteries supply the heart muscle itself uh, with oxygen and nutrients, and that a blocking of these coronary arteries um, can result in a heart attack. Yeah, and by the way. Maybe that's also a good uh, um, uh, possibility to explain what a bypass operation is. I'm just going to erase this here a little bit. Maybe you've heard of, uh, already of so-called bypass operations. And uh, what happens is the following. If there is a, a let's say over here, a, a blood clot or a blocking in, in, in the coronary arteries, what they do is, is they operate maybe from your leg or from your other body part. They take a blood vessel out and they will actually bypass this blood clot so that the blood is able to flow around it. That's what you call a bypass operation. So we're kind of uh, making a little detour of the blood so that uh, the blood is still able to reach um, the lower part of the heart over here. And there are also so-called stents. Um, and these stents, uh, they work like this. If there's some kind of a, um, a, a narrowing 
um, of the blood vessel over here, what they will do is, is they will insert uh, these stents and they will kind of uh, widen up and push the heart, the, the, the coronary artery apart a little bit. So they are able to expand um, and they push it apart so that um, the blood is able to, to flow properly again. So they are just uh, for your interest because many of you probably have already heard of the term bypass operation. Okay, and that's uh, and that's uh, what this operation is is for. Okay, so that was basically it. Okay.